Hi everyone, Ellie here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome and very happy to have you. In today's video, this video idea just randomly come to my head and I thought that's quite a good idea, Ellie. So today I'm going to be showing five of the best drugstore blushes and five of the best high-end blushes. This is in my opinion. This is by no means kind of everybody else's opinion. This is just generally my opinion on these blushes, five of the best drugstore, five of the best high-end blushes. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to be doing loads of swatches all of these are available to get except from one which is so annoying because i have to recommend it because it is such a good blush like if you can get it you need to get it because it's so so good um i know that it is kind of like sold on sites like depop and things like that so if you can get one but everything else is so easily accessible to all of you guys but anyway i promised the giveaway winners would be announced today and i've just spent my time putting it into a um, automatic spinner generator here i've got all the names written down the side if your name isn't on here it's because either you entered too late um yeah that would be why so um i'm just gonna press click to spin we're gonna see who the two winners are together just so you know there's no cheating going on here i'm literally putting in the two winners so the first winner we're gonna go ahead oh i'm excited for this so who's it Oh, Dion, Dion Rollins, you're my first winner, um, actually a friend of mine, so that's quite nice. Um, so my first winner, I'm just going to screenshot that, and my next winner, I'm going to spin again. Um, by the way, guys, there's going to be plenty of giveaways coming up in the future, so please don't get disheartened if you don't win, there's going to be so many coming up in the future, I promise. Um, and my second winner is... Fatima Fuzia. So um, yes, if you are my two winners, comment down below your Instagram handle for me to contact you. Um, and I will, yeah, put your Instagram handle down below. I'll contact you um, and then you can send me your address and I'll get those posted out as soon as possible for you. But like I said, if you haven't won today, please, please don't be disheartened. Um, I want to give back to you guys as much as I can. Like, I want you guys to know this makeup is coming out of like my own pocket. Like I'm not getting gifted this makeup. This is literally coming out of my own pocket, my own money. Um, so um, I just want you guys to know that I can't do giveaways like loads and loads and loads because like this is just coming out of my own money, but I want to do giveaways as much as I possibly can. So just stay tuned to my channel, stay loyal, keep liking my videos, comment in, it doesn't go unnoticed. And there'll be lots of giveaways coming in the future that hopefully you guys can win, so. Anyway, congratulations, and we're just going to crash straight on with the video. So, in front of me, like I said, I've got five of my favourite drugstore blushes and five of my favourite high-end blushes. Now, I'm a literal blush guru, I absolutely love blushes, so for me, these are just, oh, these are just charming goodies. Now, obviously, all of these are, like, different brands as well. I didn't want to pick, like, two from one brand, um, so they're all different brands, which is nice as well. So, I'm going to start from the, br the drugstore section. The first drugstore blush, I have three shades of these, but this is just one of my absolute favourite shades. This is the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly Blushes. Now, I'm not sure whether these are limited edition. I know they bought this out as kind of like a holiday collection thing. I'm not really sure, but... They are still available on Doll Beauty's website at the minute. And if you can get these, these are absolutely amazing. I'm not actually sure if you're from the US, you can actually access Doll Beauty. I'm not sure whether they only do it to the UK, but I believe everything else you can easily access. So I'm sorry if you can't get this, um, but I thought I'd show it. It's literally amazing. It comes in this perfect packaging and the shade is honestly so unique and beautiful. This is in the shade Let's Get Wavy. I actually wore this today. It's such a beautiful like dull pink colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to give this a swatch and it's just got the most beautiful interior packaging. It's beautiful and pigmented. Oh, it's just like the nicest pink. It's like a really unique kind of Barbie dull pink, which I kind of like. Like because there's so many blushes, I like to have something that's like just really, really unique. And honestly, the pigmentation of this, it's like super matte as well, like super matte, which I literally love. Um, it's very buildable. So obviously you can build this color up to be super buildable. Literally, you only need like the lightest tap on your brush. You literally need to dab like this because so much product comes off on your brush. Look at that, just like literally by me doing that, so much product comes off. So literally with these blushes, be ever so careful because otherwise you'll end up with just this massive, um line of color across your face but honestly the quality of these blushes are insane they have loads of different shades as well to suit all different skin tones this is just one of my favorite shades i like to use um it's in the shade let's get wavy and i believe these retail for 11 pounds um 
so they're under the 15 pound mark um they're drugs well i would class this as a drugstore brand um maybe it is like in the middle but like obviously it's quite an affordable price for a blush so that's why i wanted to include it and i just absolutely love it the quality is amazing you get a mirror it's a really nice package product and like i said there's plenty of shades to choose from so this is an amazing drugstore blush and by the way this isn't in order from like kind of my favorites i'm basically just showing like five from the drugstore five from the high-end um category in no particular order um the next blush from the drugstore i actually really like which is surprising because i didn't think i would like these these are the rimmel london maxi blushes um this is in the shade 004 Sweet Cheeks. This is the first shade I got and then I further got another shade um, from the Rimmel Maxi Blush. And I really like this shade. Now, I'm not typically a peachy blush type of person. I like something that's like a lot pinkier, but I actually really surprised myself and I really do enjoy this blush. I believe these retail for about eight pounds. Sorry if I'm getting the prices wrong. Like this is literally about a rough price of it. But like, anyway, all of these drugstore blushes I am showing are under 15 pounds. So so, like I said, they are affordable, but I believe these retail for eight pounds um, because some of these items I got on sale and then we discount off. So, um, stupidly enough, I didn't revise before starting this video. But yeah, it's around kind of the under ten pound mark, and it is such a brilliant blush. I'll swatch this one. It's got a really nice pigmentation. It's more of like a nice satin finish, um, but again, very matte, and it's just a really, really nice color. It's very buildable. Again, you can kind of build it up to be a lot more pigmented, but it's like not nice, soft, and like velvety on the skin and yeah i just absolutely love this blush i think it's really really nice from the drugstore um and yeah i really surprised myself by liking this it's a really really nice shade on the skin it kind of just gives like a nice warmth to the face and so yeah they've got a lot of shades in these i don't believe they have a lot of shades actually i think maybe they've got like five four or five shades um uh, but again like there's kind of like a shade to suit different skin tones so it is a great blush range to get um just having a little wipe here to wipe off my hands um the next blush isn't a powder blush actually this is the elf putty blush um i absolutely love this blush it's beautiful um for a cream blush like i was never really into cream blushes but i really do enjoy this cream blush from elf um i believe these are about eight pounds as well they retail on the market um as you can see though the annoying thing about this is you can see all of my kind of like hair bristles inside the product i wasn't actually sure the best way to apply this so i'm obviously just delving kind of like a stiffer brush inside but as you can see it's kind of left black fluff marks but anyway it still doesn't devise the product the product is really really great it's a nice buildable product it's really nice and smooth and creamy it's just beautiful on the skin as you can see it's just really really nice and creamy this shade is in the shade of bora bora i really really love this shade again it's like a perfect pink color but like i said with these again like all of these blushes are so easily buildable you could build it up to be darker you could have it just nice and light that's what i really like about a cream blush it's just so kind of easy to apply the like the desired amount that you want um because it never really goes on like too pigmented so i really do enjoy these blushes i have two other shades in these as well um but again it's a great drugstore blush they feel really really nice on the skin really smooth i absolutely love to wear kind of liquid um and cream blushes when i'm like on holiday and stuff because i don't want to put too much powder on so i like to just use like a nice cream so it's kind of like a little bit hydrating on the skin if you get what i mean um but yeah a really great drugstore blush um the next blush we have here i think is like a classic across the beauty world this is the milani powder blush in tea rose i did have two other shades of these but i wasn't the biggest fan of the shades i had so this is the only remaining one i have left i have to keep this one because it's so beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous this i believe these ones are 11 pounds 50 um, and then I believe like the other package ones are like 15, but I believe these are about 11 pound 50, 12 pounds. Um, it's a beautiful pigmentation and it's got like this gorgeous rose, which is absolutely stunning. Um, with this one because it is kind of like such a light shade you do kind of like really need to like build it up to kind of get that color show because it is a lighter tone but again it's so neutral it's a nice nude shade and it's just absolutely beautiful you can see it's a really nice kind of satin but matte finish um and it's absolutely stunning like the packaging just everything about this i just love it's just a great drugstore blush um and as you can see like it's just beautiful so i absolutely love this there's a nice shade range in this as well um for you guys to choose from so yes go check these out i would definitely say the most matte blush 
I've ever tried that would have to be the Doll Beauty ones. They are just so matte on the skin. It is actually insane. Um, and then the last drugstore blush. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I've already show you five. No, this is the last drugstore blush here. Now, at first, you guys probably would have heard me being like, oh, I don't really like this product. But the more I have used it, the more I've actually got to like it. This is the Beauty Bay Powder Blush in Peachy. Again, it's a peachy tone, which is like not typically a shade I go for. But it is a really, really good, affordable blush. I think these are literally like, are they like five pounds, something like that? Like four or five pounds. Honestly, they are so, so good. They've got a massive shave range as well, which is so good um, for different skin types. And it's got a beautiful pigmentation. As you can see, it's kind of like this bottom one down here. It's got a beautiful pigmentation to it, but these are so, so affordable. I know like the feel of it, it doesn't feel nice and luxe and it doesn't feel, you know, heavy because it is an affordable product, but it has got such a great quality to it. And I know Beauty Bear worked really hard on their line. Um, they've got a load of different shave ranges. So yeah, these are definitely Definitely a one to go for for kind of starting out with blush these are just a great this is just generally like a great blush especially if you were like um a freelancer and stuff as well because like you could just pick up every shade for such an affordable price and get such a beautiful outcome so yeah i'm absolutely loving this blush and i'm definitely looking to get in a few more of the shades because like they said they're so good and it's such a thin packaged product as well so easy to just travel around with chuck in your bag um so that's a really great blush now I have showed you my drugstore blushes. We are now going to move on to our high-end blushes. Oh, my favourites. People know on my channel, I do prefer to use high-end makeup. That's literally just a preference of mine. Nothing against drugstore products because like you've just seen, I have some absolutely beautiful drugstore products that I'm in love with. But high-end just hits different. It hits different. Anyways, so I'm just going to show you the one that isn't actually available anymore, which really sucks because I wish it was. Um, this is the Too Faced Love Flush um, Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in Love Hangover. Now, I know that they have brought out new ones of these, but there isn't as many shades and like the shades aren't the same, but they are available um, at the moment on Cult Beauty and stuff. So they're the same like 16 hour long wear and it's in like a heart package. Um, but I think these were bought out like 2015, 2016, which um, just shows my hoarder in us. But honestly, like the quality of these blushes are absolutely insane. Like as well like the packaging can we just admire because it's like the cutest thing on planet but honestly the pigmentation of these blushes oh hello it's me um the pigmentation of these blushes is honestly absolutely insane and the long wear of these is just incredible um i'll do a swatch this is such a nice shade it's like a beautiful kind of like deep rosy shade it's honestly stunning on the skin really really nice pigmentation and obviously it just lasts so long i'm not going to ramble too much about this blush because obviously if you guys can't get it it really does suck because it is such a nice blush um but i just had to include it because it's just so one of my tops um but like i said i haven't actually tried the new ones that too faced have brought out but i've heard they're very 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 similar because they're kind of the same concept 16 hour wear in the heart packaging so i'm hopefully going to purchase one of them soon and maybe we can kind of like test out um and they'll be the same as those because that means that you guys can get them the next product do i even have to explain i've probably showed the shown kylie blushes like 175 times on my channel but here we are again showing a kylie blush yes um clearly i have a problem with kylie cosmetics but this one is in the shade pink pink dreams and i'm honestly like absolutely beyond obsessed with this shade like i cannot tell you i literally cannot tell you um, as I explained kind of in my last video, I'm so gutted that they kind of like just rebranded and redid their packaging because I literally just finished collecting every single blush shade and then they rebranded. Not rebranded, but like redone the packaging, reformulated and I'm like, damn. So, but anyway, I've kind of like watched a lot of comparison videos and they are very same in the formula sense. And obviously you guys can just go online and buy like the new package ones. They are the same, same shade and everything. But I've just like, she's just done like the packaging and everything a little bit differently. But honestly, Kylie Blush is hit different. They are a beautiful, beautiful formula. I do need to order kind of just like one of her new blushes just to compare it for myself um but obviously i don't want to order like every shade because i have every shade in our old packaging um so obviously i just want to like use these up first but i just want to get one just to compare just to see the real difference but i know that a lot of people haven't really been hyping that they're very different like a lot of people have been saying they're basically like the same thing um but yeah i absolutely love like the drip the drip is just iconic and beautiful um so yeah like this is just such a good day guys it's such a good day um 
The next blush we have is a bougie blush. Now, this is a blush that you fork out on when you want something just bougie in your collection. This is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment um, blush in She's Passionate. This is the Velvet blush. Honestly, like this is so bougie. Look at me with Patrick Ta. Um, honestly, it was one of the best purchases I made. Oh, by the way, I'm not saying the prices, am I? I think the Kylie blushes are like £18. That's in UK, but obviously you've got to pay like that and everything because it is from the US. But I heard a rumour that they're launching in Boots. A little ear heard that something is happening in Boots with Kylie Cosmetics. So stay tuned. Um, this blush retails for £23. You can pick this up on Cult Beauty. That's where I purchased mine from and I have another shade in this. I absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful, luxury, silky blush. Um, it is the velvet finish one. It's just absolutely insane. I love it. The colour, everything about this blush is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's like this nude pink. I'm swatching over a swatch. Am I okay? I'm swatching over a swatch. There we go down here it's such a beautiful like rose nude pink it's honestly such a beautiful shade i love the packaging kind of like this mirrored effect and this really nice kind of sleek um embroidered what's it called em embroidered in the middle or something like that i think that's what it's called but yeah honestly this is such just like a nice bougie blush and you just feel so bougie every time you use it honestly it's a really really nice blush so if you want to just splash the cash buy yourself a nice blush well all of these blushes are nice but if you want to just go that extra little more mile this is such a nice blush so i love that one and then last but not least we've got two more left um i bought three of these um laura mercier blushes they were on look fantastic like they had like money off so i bought three shades in these and i've been loving so again we have another peachy blush shade i love like the sleekness of this laura mercier packaging it is nice and small easy to travel with and it's just like it's just nice and sleek and petite and i love it um so yeah this one's in the shade peach it's got such a nice formula to it i mean all of these blushes have such a nice formula i feel like i'm just saying the same for all of them but they are all honestly so amazing um but they're all different in their own way they're all unique they're all special so this one has got a slight shimmer to it this laura mercier one in peach it's got a nice kind of shimmery tone so it just glows up it's got like this glow within kind of natural vibe as you can see it's just got like that beautiful kind of sheen to it so if you like something that has a little bit of shimmer to it a little bit of glow then this laura mercier one is perfect like i said this is in the shade peach it's a gorgeous gorgeous blush shade um i believe these retail for i'm not how much do these retail for? I think they are maybe around the £20 mark. I bought mine for like £21.50, I believe, on sale. So I think full price, they're like £24. Again, I think they're like the same as the Patrick Tar blushes, by the way, if you can hear my brother. Rude, interrupting. Um, but yeah, this is such a great blush. They've got a massive shade range. So make sure you check that out. And then last but not least, my favourite blushes from the high end has to be the kvd everlasting blushes this is in the shade peony i absolutely adore this shade it is the most beautiful pink shade i'm obsessed with this look at it it is stunning um i'm not sure because this was kat von d when i bought it so i'm not sure if they've she's rebranded she has rebranded to KVD Vegan Beauty, but I'm not sure if she's like repackaged, reformulated. But honestly, these blushes are one in a million. They are insane. I just absolutely adore the formula of these. Like when you touch it, it's just like pure, pure silk. And when you apply it, it's just so beautiful on the skin. It's got this gorgeous pigmentation. It feels amazing. And I am just honestly absolutely obsessed. It's just got this beautiful velvet touch and it's just this pink kiss. And I'm honestly obsessed with these blushes. I've got two other shades in these. Um, I believe these retail for about £21. Again, the high-end blushes are all around the £20 mark but honestly i just love the packaging as well just look at it it's so beautiful honestly love this blush it is such a good good blush i'm obsessed um and it's like it just gives you like the perfect just even coverage it's just gorgeous Anyway, guys, so that it includes all of my kind of five drugstore blushes, five high-end blushes. I recommend all of these blushes 100%. If you can get these and you love them, oh, they are just amazing. I promise they will not disappoint you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Giveaway winners, like I said, comment down below. If you do not contact with me within two weeks, I will have to select a, another winner. Um, so yeah, com comment down below, two-week deadline. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.